to those fans from MiHoYo and the HoYoVerse, specifically the ones who are really addicted to Genshin Impact. This is Biggie Seventy Two Fifteen speaking. Nako nakabis na naman ako bilang si Amber, but in an animation way. And this is actually the start of the Kasikatan Club 2023. So if you notice the changes of the logo, it's actually based from the teleserie that. Is actually mostly watched by the Dunbell fans. You know, can buy me love, but money can't really buy you love at all. Okay, so we'll be having some talks regarding the event that I went the last October 28. Supposedly, I was supposed to be there October 23, which I have to do this continuously. And one event is trying to push me that is actually related to pipa para makompleto ang clearance. But anyways, one day is actually enough, kasi baka mam- because I may end up with lots of stuff on the dump site. But no worries, even just a small freebies from the Hoyo Fest would do. Still, it's actually worth it. The highest spenders and to those who save that big, they eventually go first on the merch booth. Yeah, they actually they have two lines. When I go to Mega Mall, they have a uh, two lines. The one is going to be for the merch, and the other one is for the activity booth. So actually, uh, wala pang 2 o'clock in the afternoon, naubos na ang freebies. Including the ones from weekend. Yeah, I, I went there on the weekend. October 28 is Saturday. Dressed up as Amber from Genshin Impact. And, and someone just called me Baron Bunny, ha? Baron Bunny is the plushie uh, that resembles to Amber. Talaga dinodogso na naman sa akin ng host, ha? But carry on. Moving on to the big spenders. I know some of you reminded of the conquest, but but it's not really the hit or the extremely hit that you that you've went last June third and fourth. But take a look at this. Every single day, even weekday, big lang dumadami ang tao sa pila. Even though it doesn't reach by 12 noon, the line for the merch booth reaches to the fifth floor already. Well, that was really a super long line. So good thing that I should wake up that early. And and you know, uh, based on the conversation with Bunja uh, the day before I went to the Mega Mall, and based on the conversation with Bunja a day before we went to Mega Mall, and she asked me on, "Does bigla ako pumunta for a water break?" Even though we had some fun talks, dahil alam na alam na it actually went on an accident last March. Tapos biglang na sumasabi na parte ng letter T. So, I, I don't want to talk this whole thing. Baka mag-cancel na tuloy ako. So, moving on with the topic. Bunja uh, asked me on what is going to be my next event. Yung next event na pinuputahan ko. Then, I just mentioned um, Hoyo Fest. And then, she told me it, it, it may be crowded. And she recommended me to go on a weekday. But, uh, eventually... That's the last weekend that I that we went, October 28 and 29. So I actually go on a Saturday instead, because a Sunday, it may end it up really worse and the line, it's a, it's actually overcrowded. So okay, so here's the situation, the line. So I went here at 8:18 in the morning. So medyo maonti lang yung pila eh. But I, I don't really know what what is going on with that line on the upper area. Because what I believe it's going to be on a lower ground. So what I see in the path, medyo maonti lang yung pila. But we know that uh, Sunday would make it worse. The line would make it super long. And also another thing. Besides of going that early, I, I shouldn't change my clothes in the CR anymore. <laughs> But I have to wear it right away. But I have to cover it up. But guys, there are lots of familiar people who have to, who are really addicted, who are really addicted to Genshin Impact, trying to take lots and lots of photos at me. But uh, yeah, they made a lots of appreciation on how I dress as Amber, even though it went on a low cost basis, because we know that costumes of Genshin Impact would end it up in. Thousands, thousands, and thousands. Maybe someday I may, I may actually try to dress up as Jean or maybe Sucros. And oh, don't forget Ayaka. It is actually a promise, probably by summer. Hopefully by summer, as long as we set it up in a good ways. If Hoyo Fest returns, then I shall return as well. 
you know, freebies should, shouldn't really go away because freebies is actually the most important thing even though I don't even though I don't buy such expensive merch as if you see there because the lowest so far is actually the pin is actually about 170 and the highest one is I, I don't know if it's actually a, like a figure or a stand and it's not just about Genshin Impact that you're that you're looking forward to we got Honkai Star Rail the Tears of Thieves, the Zenless Zone Zero or ZZZ or the 3Z, and a whole lot more. And take a look at those shots that I have from the various cosplayers. Yeah, we've actually asked them before we take some photos, even some short videos as well. Remember that even though if it's a Hoyo Fest and there are tons of people who dressed up more as who dress up really more for Genshin. Cosplay will never, ever, ever, ever be constant at all. Lalo sa mga cosplay conventions like Ozin.